Hallelujah. Uh, good morning still. Uh, yes, good Facebook morning. Live. We still in the morning? Yep. We ain't reached noon yet? Nope. Let's get ready to get it in. Uh, thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman. Uh, Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann. On the scripture study on this, what's today's date? 27. I'm a 27th. 27th day in January 2019. Big Micah in the house. Bless you. Good to see you on. Um, yeah, let's figure this thing out. Y'all dealing with me. Um, let's get ready to get to work, y'all. Let's go to let's go to uh, uh, Galatians. Trenda, how you doing, sis? Galatians. Matter Yahoo in the building. Good to see you, sir. Galatians. Shalom, sis. Sisters and brothers, let's go to Galatians. Say a quick prayer. We're gonna go to Galatians uh, six. Uh, Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come together to glean in your word, uh, to, to meditate in your presence, continue to do what only you can do, show up and show up and do what only you can do. We're completely dependent on you. We trust and believe you for this. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Y'all hit y'all share buttons and uh, whoever doing watch parties or whatever, whatever y'all got going on. When you do watch party, are you required to have popcorn? Don't they have a little popcorn bucket? Don't they? No, nah, don't they got a popcorn bucket or something like that? Yeah, that's what I said. Thank you. <laughs> Look at logic looking. <laughs> when they do, I think when they do, when you do a watch party, they have a bucket of popcorn. Oh, yeah, there's a little icon there that you click on. Yeah, I make me want to click on just because of the popcorn. Tell you the truth. <laughs> and where you gonna get the popcorn at? Miss Fox, how you doing? Much love for the Fox family. My daughter's um, auntie. Hallelujah. A coat Don is in the building. Push your uh, share button or your watch party, whatever y'all do. Let's go to Galatians, y'all. Galatians, the sixth chapter. Let's get it in. Galatians 6. And uh, 6 and 7. Look what it says. It say, Be not deceived. Yah is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Can I read that one more time? Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Yah is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Can the Ecclesia say all man? Amen. Um, can we talk today? Can we talk. Let's have a conversation. Let's, in the ruach, in the, in the spirit. Just keep it like um, like straight, legitimate. Because we're living in a time like of a great um, deception. A lot, lot of lies jumping off. A lot of, lot of trickery. We, we, we trying to unravel some stuff in the times we living in. It's a lot of. It's, it, it's super disappointing. Uh, when you know, when you've been lied to your whole dog on life. Mess around, find out up is down and down is up. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of disappointing. And the word, you know, say, you know, be not deceived because there's a whole lot of deception. Be, be not deceived. When you look at the, the climate of the rescue, right? We live in the times where they call evil good and good evil. I'll tell you that now the times the word was talking about, right? And when you look at the the rescue, the way out is a path to hell. 
because they lied. They they took the antidote and put some leaven in it. You know how the word said a little leaven, leaven the whole lump? Yeah. They put some poison in the solution. Type stuff the devil do. They put some they put some poison in the solution. And the word teaches that the whole world is drunk on that wine. The whole world is drunk on the wine of the fornication. Of a universal doctrine that ain't even true. It's a lie. Um, one of the worst lies there is, is the one that has the truth clothes on. One of the worst lies there is, is the one that's painted up to be the truth. And folks believe it and are under the influence of it. Right? Be not deceived. Yah's not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. When you look at um, the fruit, the fruit from yourself or even the fruit from a ministry. The fruit from a doctrine is going to be manifested. The proof, the proof, when, when you got, you, you go to church and the leadership in the church is going to bed with the congregation. Or like little boys. Or little girls. Adultery. At the strip club. About their money. Hang with them. They cuss. I'm talking about leadership. And it's not specified... Like to an individual. It's the climate. It's the prince of the air is in control. And I'm not talking about the world per se. Even though they're the dictators of the climate. They're the children of disobedience. But I'm talking about when a ch the children of disobedience decide that they want to change. And they want to come to the most high. And they come out of the darkness into the marvelous light and come to find out the light is fake. Come get pregnant by your pastor. No, no. <laughs> le le left the game and now you're in bed with your pastor. Or the pastor in bed with your uncle. Or with his daughter. Or with the daughter. All of it. The, the, these are the times. These are the times we living in. And what he's saying is, be not deceived, though. Be not deceived. Y'all's not mocked. That's right. We gotta use. We gotta use some type of a. I hate to say it, but some type of a common sense to a certain extent. Somebody gotta turn the light on. Mm -hmm. I was looking at you know the ideology of Israel waking up, right? You got a people that, according to Psalms 83, they were hidden. They were hidden. The, the nations conspired together to hide them that the name of Israel be no more, right? As a nation, as a people. They still living, but they don't know that they're a nation. They're literally a nation and the, and the loved of the Most High, right? You got this big conspiracy going on. And even in their blindness, right? They have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof because he allowed the deception to happen based on a punishment for them, right? But then when they start waking up, they should be separating themselves and coming out of that, right? So then by like common sense would be like, you would have a thought like, okay, the folks that conspired and robbed them of their identity and robbed them of their heritage and living in their land and whatever they did, right? They stick together on an evil agenda. So then common sense would lightweight come to you to say this, that we shouldn't be bashing one another and we should respect leadership, right? Mm -hmm. 
like they do. We should we should be able to come. A kingdom divided against itself can't stand, right? So we should be able to come together as a people and support one another, right? But I would have to say it's hard to support uh, someone that will sleep with the kids. Okay, what color they here? That's right. And in fact, the expectation from Yah's standpoint is if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then I hear from heaven, I forget their sins, and I hear their land, right? So, so... Forget all that old uh, stick together stuff. Stick with Yah, which will enable me to stick with you. Because the problem with Israel was they was faithless. They didn't obey the most high. The law came because they wasn't like their daddy Abraham, and they end up getting cursed, shipped into slavery and dogged out. We supposed to partner with them based on some skin complexion? Are you kidding me right now? No, the answer is no. I'm praying for anybody in sin. But be not deceived. Y'all's not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth. Look. They crept in and they changed the standard of having a relationship with the most high. It's been Catholicized. Constantine came in at the Council of Nicaea. And he merged uh, paganism. Turned it into polytheism, multiple gods, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. But he, he merged polytheism and paganism in with the truth and caused Rome to ha have a form of yaliness but deny the power thereof, called them Christians. Well, folks don't know that the term Christian came from the believers of that. The true believers, I'm not going to get too deep into this. I really not. I'm going to go through more. But the true believers were first called Christian in Antioch, which was a pagan place filled with idolatry, and that's where they got Christos from. And so it'd be different if Constantine was coming to the truth, the, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and following the statues and the commandments uh, as they were. But that was not what he did. He added a, a, a thin paint job of uh, having a form of that. But underneath it was full paganism. And we're living up under that right now. And what's attached to that type of doctrine is the doctrine of the serpent from the beginning when he first said, thou should not surely die. So we have the state of mind that ain't nobody perfect. We all sinners saved by grace. And that type of grace is the lascivious type of grace that will cause complacency for someone to be in sin. The satanic um, atmosphere that Catholicism bring because it's universal religion. All of it just souped in one pot like gumbo. All of it me meshed in together, but the ultimate goal is Baphomet. Baphomet. Yeah. He has a a, a, a male sexual organ with snakes wrapped around it. And he also has female uh, 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 top part, breast. And again, if you look at the symbol that's on the bathroom now, you got a symbol of, of, of a person that got a half dress and the other leg is a pants leg. That's what they got in the bathroom now. And that's over our head now, right? When you when you go to the bathroom now, you'll see a, a half woman, half man there. Dress on one side, on the one side, and the pants leg on the other. Y'all ain't seen that? Yeah. Like a unisex. It's unisex. <laughs> but th th that's all psychological. That's where they're headed. Mm -hmm. That's why they got the influential, uh, you know, brothers all buff and strong, catching footballs and boxing. Up, and then they come out and put a skirt on. Put a dress on. Buff brother with a wig on. Man made up with long eyelashes and makeup on with a beard. <laughs> got on a wife beater, buff as heck. You look down, he got on a little tiny spandex with, <laughs> with, some, with some knee-high boots on. Like, what the? I'm confused. But see, our children is watching this. Right. 
So the satanic is now normal. Right. That's what they're trying to do. They're planting seeds. Mm -hmm. And we didn't accept it because we're scared to lose our job. Mm. Hmm. Leadership is under the influence of that. They sexually confused. They're turning this place into a, a, a sexual satanic mess. Mm. Solomon. Solomon and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. We got some stuff going on Sodom and Gomorrah. I said, what these jokers doing? They scandalous. Mm -hmm. We went to someone's house and passed cable. Um, Kato was watching Disney Channel for about 10 minutes, ran up to me and said, Mommy, it's okay for boys to wear girls' clothes. See? He was on Tubi for five minutes. And came back with that revelation. Because mm -hmm. that's exactly what they're doing. That's what they want the kids to be. They got they got a curriculum in schools about that. that. They're reading <laughs> books to the kids mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, Johnny Ward addressed the school today. Mm -hmm. Two mommies, two daddies. Two mommies, all that mess. Well, I cut off my cable, and now my kids only get to watch KQED, and it's mostly educational. That's good. Yeah. There is, just for, give them a plug, a Pure Flix. They got a thing like Netflix, but it's called Pure Flix. Mm -hmm. And the flicks are, are, are clean, and, and, and believers, and the whole, so the whole nine nice. yards. So I had to get them a plug. Mm -hmm. But be not deceived, y'all. Yah's not mocked. Whatsoever man saw, if that shall he reap. The proof is in the pudding. It's coming out. All the way down to our personal walk and our personal leaders. We, 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 we got to grow up in Yah and take responsibility for our own selves. Yah don't allow his leadership to to, for the lack of a better term, Lord over his inheritance. The scriptures say that after the spirit has come upon you, you have need that no man teach you. You should be willing to obey him and follow him for yourself. That's true. You shouldn't have to be codependent. Right. You should be, the, the word teaches obey them to have a rule over you, and that's true, right? Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't have to be in every facet of your life. You should be growing on your own. You should have a personal relationship with him. Yes. Yes. You should have a healthy reading life on your own. Yes. Because whatever, whatever you sow and whatever you're doing is going to come out. It's going to come out in your life. Whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. And you should be personally sowing as an individual in your own life. In your own life. Everybody in this room should have a personal one-on-one. -on -one. No one should be piggybacking off me. Or no leader. That don't mean don't be faithful. That don't mean, that mean you should be faithful. That don't mean don't give. That mean you should give. And you should be given according how he purposed in your life. Because to tell you the truth, the scripture that we're talking about is talking about sowing to them that communicate to you if you read that part. That sow of good things, that sows the word to you and you should be growing by it. But, but it shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to dictate it. I shouldn't have to beg you. I shouldn't be in your bedroom with you. I don't mean physically. I mean that's none of my doggone business. That means everyone should be doing what they're supposed to do because the word is teaching them to do that. Yeah. The word is teaching them to do that as individuals. Standing up and having your own personal relationship with the Most High. You got your own personal relationship with the Most High and you're growing. Be not deceived. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. And we all should be sowing. Everybody. As an individual, your concern should be the things of the most high because you're spending time with him personally. It shouldn't be the only time you get in the word is when the cleese is around. You get in the word by yourself? Or if you by yourself, you're just going to watch TV. 
You by yourself, you're too busy to spend time with the most high. You by yourself, you're going to end up at the club. You're going to smoke a cigarette. You're going to start lying. You cuss when you by yourself. When the believer not around, you, that's when you do you. You act a fool. You violent. You funny stuff. You ain't got no patience, no love. You don't know how to talk to folks. You don't know how to deal with nobody when you alone. But when the Ecclesia is around, that's when you get strong all of a sudden. Now you you hallelujah all of a sudden. Now You've been cussing all day, all week enough. Now you want to holler hallelujah. What sort of man soweth? Whatever we sowing, that's what we eat. He said, be not deceived because we have a tendency to deceive ourselves. Ain't no way in the world someone want to believe that the creator of all is going to send them to hell. They just don't want to believe that. They just don't want to believe that. But the fact of the matter is, he said that's exactly what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, he said, to the faithful servant that obey me, I'm going to make him ruler over a bunch of stuff. He's going to get a promotion in eternity. He said, but if that wicked servant, because the righteousness that servant had wasn't their own. They got it from the most high. All of us need y'all. All of us is wicked. All of us born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Right. Every last one of them. Ain't nobody better than nobody else. All of us are in the wash machine process. Prayerfully, we ain't crazy theology talking about ain't nobody perfect. Because that's just some dumb stuff. He said, be you perfect, even as your father would tell us perfect. What, he lying? I'd rather believe you? Please. I'm rocking with him. So all of us should be perfect while being perfected. Getting better. What is perfection? Have every intention of obeying him? Studying, reading, praying, getting to know him? Dying daily? Bless me, more him every day? Like Yachanan said, they call him John, y'all. He say, he say, I must decrease as he increase. That's walking in perfection. I'm better today than I was yesterday. I'm evolving. I'm getting better and better in him. I'm not going to intentionally continue to do this once I find out it's wrong. Because him to know to do good and do it not to him it is sin. After we have the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sin. What else can he do to save you? He already did it all. He did, he did everything he can to save each and every one of us, including his willingness to be baptized into us, to, to lead and guide us. <coughs> He's going to lead and guide you, not me. He's literally going to lead and guide you. We need to learn his voice and less a man's voice. More him. Whatsoever man sow. Did you know we should start sowing and in investing in our own soul as an individual on a one-on-one -on -one with y'all? Comparing notes with leadership. I ran across this scripture and this is what I got out of it. What does it mean to you? Personal parts, you have needed. No man teach you because he's the one's going to lead you and he's jealous. Remember when at the beautiful gate, right? Uh, 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 so-called Peter and John was there, man sitting there out there begging for alms. Uh, he run the cross, and I'm using modern-day uh, vernacular terms, right? But these church folks passing by this dude, he ain't growing. He, oh, uh, he trying to do. He at the church out front. He ain't got to go in trying to get paid, right? He out there stuck. They came by. Silver and gold have a none. Says I have. Give I thee. Get up and walk. <clears throat> He get up and walk. When they walk in there, the people like, see, ain't that that guy that was out front? And they said, what, what he with them do? What they do? They start, they want to worship them. He said, man, hold on. Pump your, I'm a man just like you. I ain't nobody special. I am nobody, I am nobody's Elohim. I can't be. I ain't that cool. I am not that cool. I got to die daily too. Everybody in this room got to get the most high for themselves. 100%. <clears throat> what if I backslide? Mm -hmm. What if he kill me? Mm -hmm. What if he take me out? Mm -hmm. Say, well, well done, thy good and favorite servant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonder if. I wouldn't be the first one uh, preaching for money. 
and want to give me some illegal loving on the under. I wouldn't be the first one. Y'all wouldn't be surprised, would you? If I turn out like a little boys, one of the little boys, can I hold your son? I, now, now, now I want to babysit all of a sudden. Now, now I want to babysit all of a sudden. <laughs> Got a babysitting service. Just the boys. Oh my. Ain't nobody Elohim. I don't qualify to be no dog on Elohim. I don't want to be nobody's Elohim. I ain't. Whatsoever man soweth. We should be sowing in the yard. Is yard that's going to keep you out of the bed? Or you're going to get in the joke. Is Yah that's going to govern the mind renewal process? One planet, right? The word teaches, right? One planet. Bring you the word is what it's talking about, right? Bring you the word, right? One planet. Another water. Reiterate. Right? Rehearsing it. We come together so much the more as we see the day approaching, right? Over the word. Over the word. Over the word, Right? So you can leave with it. So you can leave with it. What happened was your salvation was predicated on you hearing the word because it knocked. Now we have this treasure in earthen vessels. We got vessels with this treasure, the word in them, sharing it with you. But the word is knocking on your heart trying to get inside of you. And once it gets inside of you and you let it in, he going to open it up for you. So if I don't talk to you for a month, next time I talk to you, you didn't read six books. You got a list of questions. Or you got some fruit on your tree that you didn't have since the last time I talked to you. You, you didn't became a better spouse. You didn't became a better neighbor. You didn't became a better believer. You didn't came, folks around you is tripping. You're able to give me testimonies of how people are turning their back on you now. Folks you used to hang with. Mad at you. Why? Because you ain't committing adultery no more. You ain't. And all we doing is just growing together. And the leadership, because the leadership is twisted. You gonna put your salvation on a man? Leadership is twisted. Leadership is bisexual, trisexual. Try the sex. Just what? I tried. What is it? Is it dry? Is it lubricated? Yeah, I tried. Times we living in. This ain't the, the Balfamet. Can't you see it? Again, I'm gonna say it again. I saw a commercial. I was in the barbershop with my son the other day. Commercial came on. A man popped on talking about I'm on the pill. You seen that commercial? Yeah. I'm on the pill, so a bunch of men. Men and a woman, I'm on the pill. I'm on the pill. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Birth control pill, like. No, it's 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 for HIV. Uh, it's to prevent yeah. HIV. Yeah. And they show what the what? what? <laughs> Little boy in the in the chair getting his hair cut, and that's on the screen. My son sitting there. I'm like, my, you know, you, my son don't want no water if it's in a pink cup. Let me tell you that now. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Pull it out. Give me that cup. Okay. <laughs> That's right. But this is what they're doing. Leadership. I'm not just talking about secular leadership. Bishops is running around here gay. You got you got you got organizations that's famous for being singing homosexuals. Celebrity stars. They're not into living right, coming out from among them be separate. Folks well, ain't tripping, they ain't tripping on no dog on Christmas tree. Of course they're gonna have a Christmas tree if they sleep with everybody in the congregation. Invalid. Everybody in the congregation is clubbing, getting drunk and high. On some old, on some old uh, you can't judge nobody. Uh, oh my God can only judge me. What the, what's all this satanic stuff? What is all this rebellion about? Why everybody mad because uh, 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 y'all got a book in the book in the Bible called Judges. He sends judges. He told us in Corinthians six, dare any of you go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? Why are folks mad at that? I thought we got saved from sin, didn't we? Wasn't that wasn't a problem? 
that Adam and Eve sinned against the Most High. Isn't that the problem? Isn't that when sin? Isn't that when death came in? So why is it a mystery in the days we living in that sin is the problem? You go to church to get pregnant by your pastor. You you go to church to find a joker to sleep with. Did you just leave the club for that? Oh, you didn't leave the club. You go to both now. Because that's the climate we live in. And be not deceived, y'all is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall they also reap. Look, the wages of sin, sowing in the sin, is death. Why is, that, why is that a mystery? What's the mystery about that? Folks shocked. You too judgmental. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting at the restaurant, somebody put some food in front of you. What you doing putting food in front of you? If you don't get your crazy self about this restaurant with your crazy self, folks eat here. <laughs> you didn't see it was a restaurant when you came in? You don't see this is the ecclesia, the people of the most high? The ones that the gospel came to and you're supposed to repent and turn from sin? You don't know that? Can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It doesn't make any sense. But it's the climate of the air. Devil is so smooth, he literally got children that five minutes, they're not going to know if they're a boy or a girl. Because they're working on them. Because the people that's raising, that's raising us, that, ra that control television, control Sesame Street, control... Uh, 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 everything that I, I got, all the television, the commercials, the course of it is, is governed by a wicked people that hate Yah. Don't get it twisted. Malachi told it all. He was upset with Israel and the priests, and he told them, he said, look, he said, Jacob, he said, Esau, I hate, and I tore his stuff up too. <laughs> said Esau turned around and said, oh, we're going to rebuild. You tear it down, I'm going to build it back up. You got to know who they are because they still build it. And he said, oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to tear it back down again. There's a war with some people that's on earth that hate Yah. And they're building. And he said, okay, as soon as you screw in that last screw, I'm just going to tear it down. I'll tsunami it. <laughs> I'll shake your body down to the ground. I'll send an earthquake and knock it all down. There's going to be wars and rumors. Well, I'm going to tear this stuff up. And the whore you partnered with. Catholicism. Tearing it all up. And we need to know who those people is. But we've been so brainwashed, we think it don't matter. Oh, it matter. But I tell you what. Be not deceived. Yah's not mocked. What sort of man sowing? That shall he also reap. If you sowing what they sowing, why are you going to be shocked when he come? In Egypt... When he came to rescue uh, uh, Israel in Egypt, they were in Goshen. And all the curses that they had, hey, buddy, didn't go to Goshen, right? But if Israel left Goshen and ran with them, whatever they was getting, Nagel was going to get. And you got Israel right now that's satanic up under all these denominations, all these organizations. They're engulfed in sin. Sexual perversion. You can tell a Torah ministry when there's sexual perversion there. Freaky behavior there. And it comes down from the top. You got a freaky man or woman of y'all over you, then you got issues. Because that's exactly where we headed. Sexual perversion. This society is whooped. And it's time out for that. Joe was going to church talking about making excuses for a scandalous bishop past tight wearing, tight shirt wearing bishop that, 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 that's getting young men and going to bed with them because they're poor. Putting a little money in their pocket and going to bed with them and they over the ministry. And then when they get busted, the conversation, but don't you put your mouth on the man of God. Man, did you watch your dog on mine? You shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. Ain't no man of y'all sleeping with no boys. Right. And he tried to tell you when he had that little shirt on. Hanging around the nursery. 
But he can sing, huh? But he went to theology school, huh? He a high-ranking official in your denomination, huh? He famous? Cat with a little wig on, curly wig on, <laughs> running the radio station. Man, turn that off. I'd rather listen to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I ain't gonna listen to none of them to tell you the truth, but I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Can't get what I'm saying. Don't don't start. Oh, he listens to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, I don't listen to Snoop Dogg. Hear more his gospel album. <laughs> but at the end of the day, what are we doing? If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves to pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, he gonna hear from heaven, he gonna forget their sins. Not until then. Don't you can forget about it. And whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You got folks running around here holding grudges. In order to be saved, you can't be the type of person to hold grudges. Because he said, if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will he forgive you yours. And all you got to do is go look in the mirror. And if you don't find some scandalousness when you look in the mirror, there's something wrong with you. You should always find something where you can change and grow or something you're battling with. A whole lot of stuff he's already forgiven you for. Folks have done some atrocious, scandalous stuff. And they need to be forgiven for it. How can you possibly be looking down your nose at somebody else? You got some folks that have done some things that if other folks knew, they wouldn't respect them. And they'd grab all their kids and everything, jump in the car, <laughs> throwing, come on, y'all, jumping through the window because whoever driving, I love you, but I got to get out of here. You better jump in the window because I'm going to hit this corner. <laughs> <laughs> and have had a gall to be holding something against somebody else. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot hold grudges. There will be some people that you can disassociate yourself from based on their position is wrong and they won't repent. But you can't be holding nothing against them. I just ain't messing with you because you ain't cool. I'm willing to get it right. If you want to have a sit down, we can have a sit down anytime. You say, Tonic, if somebody want to want to make amends and you don't want to, there's something wrong with you. You can't be the type of person that got grudge against folks like you better than them. Ain't nobody better than nobody else. Right. We all in the same gang. We all need to grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mad at your pimples and I got one busted on my forehead leaking white stuff. <laughs> 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 and don't count me out. Just get, give me some... Y'all got to... Uh, some some, yeah, some something. <laughs> we can do each other face if you want to. But we can't be home grudges, y'all. Come on, man. That's right. No, we can't. We can't position ourselves to be anti the most high. Whatsoever man soweth, do not be surprised. When you live in your life, you getting your money and you doing you, it's going to come to a crashing disappointment. Mm -hmm. Whoever, whoever's, Whosoever seeks to save his life is going to lose it. Don't be surprised when you lose your life. You ignore the most high, that's completely up to you. You, ha you have folks that got tricked because I'm going to tell you this. Without the most high, the devil going to trick you. You're no match for him. He's too slick. You think you got game? Please. You got, he, he tricked the people into not going against gay marriage. And he played on their sympathy, their empathy. Like, who am I? I'm just going to mind my own business. That's what he used. You going to mind your own business? We shouldn't have been minding our own business. We should have been minding Yah's business. Because if we was minding the most highest business, we would have been against it. Mm -hmm. But since we ain't taking Yah's fight, not knowing that Yah's fight is for our good. But we don't know that, right? I mind my own business. You didn't know they was going to pump that stuff in your children. So now your son's is not going to be a son no more. He's not a boy no more, they're saying. And they're about to pass legislation to say he's not a boy no more. How about that? What you going to do about that? Because they went so far with it at this point that if you fight against it, you're going to have a problem. You ain't going to have no job. You're going to be labeled as a hater. And they just eased in. You think you're smart. You think you're nice. The spirit of Casper, the friendly ghost. You think you more. You know more than Yah. You looking at Yah like he's judgmental, like the Bible is mean and rude. And now your boy ain't a boy no more. Now what you going to do? 
Your girl ain't a girl no more. And the authorities is backing her at the age of four, at the age of five, to, to, to make a decision on what she want to be. Now what you going to do? You thought it was about your privacy and your bedroom and who are you to judge me? You thought all that, right? Romans, the first chapter, didn't want to retain y'all in your knowledge, right? You try to exclude him out of the routines of this life, right? Because he's going to infringe on your rights, right? Well, now look. And those that stand for truth because of your wickedness and your unwillingness to side with y'all, it makes it hard on those that, that is going to stand with him. But we ain't tripping because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We're going to stand with truth. Re irregardless of what the consequences is. I ain't preaching for no Rolls Royce. I'll walk, doggone it. I'm not preaching for you to like me. You ain't got to never like me. If you save, you're going to like me. And if you ain't, you, you ain't. You, you won't. I'm going to love you. And part of love is faithful are the wounds of a friend. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you what y'all say. As unpopular as the most high is in the world we're living in, right? And the Mashiach said, Are you ain't greater than your master? They didn't like me. They sure ain't going to like you. That's right. Mm -hmm. If they like you, you a sellout. You jokers ain't got to like me. The devil or his kids. Because y'all sheep hear his voice and they're going to make the necessary changes. They're going to repent. And they're tired of that church crap. Mm -hmm. False doctrine uh, for these fake uh, uh, preachers. And I'm pro-Israel for sure. And, and the more melanated they is, the more I'm going to talk about them if they run around here with tight shirts on and like little boys. What, 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 a gay, gay, gay uh, a homosexual woman with a, a, a politician, homosexual, a preaching woman with, with a gay congregation. Care how popular you are. Care nothing about you. You are the devil if you don't repent. And, and the people that won't take responsibility for their own lives, for their own soul salvation, working out their soul salvation with fear and trembling because there's something to be fearful about. Why people got to wait for the bomb to hit you in the chest before they know it's on its way? It's on its way. He who will come, going to come and will not tarry. He on his way because the, his judgment isn't executed speedily, it is setting the heart of man to do wicked. We think we're getting away with something. You're not getting away with nothing. For y'all live and for y'all die, got to be your attitude because this death, burial, and resurrection, this is the true death, burial, and resurrection. When you accepted him, you were baptized into his death. And like he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. We should be walking in perfection. We should not be calculating sin no more. We was good at it, wasn't we? We had a secret little agenda. Bunch of secrets.